Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you been looking for a way to move your iPhone contacts to your SIM card but you couldn't find out how? In this tutorial, I will show you why you're unable to move your contacts along with some alternative solutions to help you transfer or back up your data instead. Let's go! Unfortunately, it is not possible to directly import contacts from a non-jailbroken iPhone to a SIM. You can only move the contacts from a SIM to an iPhone but not the other way around. This is something that can only be done with Android phones. So, when you definitely need your contacts on your SIM, you should transfer the files to an Android phone and export them to your SIM afterward. How you can do this is explained later in this video. The good news is, you still have the option to back up your iPhone contacts. The easiest method for this is through iCloud. But first, you need to sign in to your Apple ID account if you haven't yet. When you are already signed in, you will see here your name. Otherwise here would be a sign in button. Like this. Once you're signed in, tap your name and go to iCloud. From there, look for the contacts icon and turn on its toggle button. Once enabled, all your contacts will be synced to your iCloud. You can also speed up the syncing process by charging the iPhone and making sure it is connected to Wi-Fi. If you want to transfer contacts on another iOS device, simply log in using the same Apple ID. To do that, go to Settings and log in with your Apple ID credentials if you're not signed in yet. Next, make sure that Contacts is also enabled in the iCloud settings. If you want to transfer your contacts to your Android phone, you will need to create a vCard file. There are two ways to do this. First, you can use iCloud. On your PC or iPhone, launch any browser and visit the iCloud website. Now, log in to your Apple ID. If the two-factor authentication feature is enabled, you will also be asked to type in a code from your iPhone. Next, go to Contacts. Tap the gear icon, then choose Select All. Click the gear icon again and select Export vCard. If you now send this file, for example via email to your Android phone and open it, you can import your contacts. The second method is to install a third-party application. I recommend iCareFone from Tenorshare. This program is available for both Mac and Windows and is not only made for contacts. Transferring of other files is also possible, and it doesn't require you to use any cloud. Once it's installed, plug in your iPhone to your PC and trust your computer. Then you can launch iCareFone. Go to the Contacts tab and in this case, make sure that iCloud contacts are disabled so that they are stored locally on the device. Afterwards, click Retry. Here you can either choose only specific contacts or select all. Press Export, select 2V card file and save it to your preferred destination folder. With the free version of the software, it's only possible to export up to 10 contacts. For more, you need to subscribe to the premium plan. But for those who don't want to use a cloud, this is a good alternative use. When it is downloaded successfully, remove your iPhone and plug in your Android device. Look for your device on the Mac or PC and copy the vCard file to your phone's internal storage. Then you can import the contacts to your Android phone. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!